All right, guys, Skitty Fishing here. Uh, we are at Salem Pond again. I tried to go down to the lower pond because I wanted to catch some more of those zombie brooks. And I don't even know why, honestly. They're kind of ugly and they're not even appealing in any way, shape, or form, but I wanted more. But uh, the lower pond is actually frozen over. It's the first time I've ever seen that. It's about an inch thick, so, you know, not ice fishing worthy, but I do have a GoPro thanks to my buddy Kyle Yaple. So hopefully we can get some cool footage. So we'll see how it goes. We're dual recording. Got him. First cast. Nope, he popped off. <laughs> uh, counts though more to the left haven't really got much there yet oh I'm getting a bite getting a bite got him do you see that he came right up to that right on the bank Oh, that is insane. That's a brook trout, too. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Hilarious. Well, now I know that they're down here on the fountain side. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, I don't want to lose this one. So I can only hope I got most of that on footage, but this, uh, this brook trout, zombie brooks right there. So, I mean, just look how beat he looks. I mean, no tail. This is actually one of the prettier ones that I've seen, if anything, but, um, Wow, that's crazy. I actually prefer the the fly fishing nets. Um, the ones that are kind of like like a rubberized net. Oh my goodness. There we go. Freak. It was really hard. An atomic teaser without the tease. So, <laughs> using a white tube jig this time, so. Looks like I can definitely get this one more out. So I'll show you kind of, I'm gonna jig it aggressively, pointing my rod at the water. Oh, see I'm already getting bumps. Oh, missed that. I think one of the biggest secrets of a two pound test line is your drag strength for starters. Um, you know, you want to let the fish be able to pull some of your line out. The idea is to wear them out. If they have too much strength, they're just going to keep fighting. You're going to have more chances to, you know, lose your lures and tackle. And then you don't want to put a heavy line weight with a, you know, medium action rod or, you know, medium to heavy. You know, most of your rods will have something kind of described right here. This says ultralight, four to eight pounds. Um, definitely a two pound test line is more than enough. Cause really what you're doing, oh shit. And I bird nested. Oh, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Sometimes if you're like me, you say one last cast and you always have a reason to get another cast in. Got him. There we go. Finally. Been missing him. There's a nice big branch right in front of me, so. It's another rainbow trout.
Got some good color to them. So, another pretty bow. All right. Looks like the water's a little iced over. Got one. Wow. I was not even expecting that. Right there. It's a brook trout again. Uh, tube jig. Yeah, it's a, it's a brook trout. Pretty decent one too. You here? My hands are wet. What was that? My hands are wet. I, it's just a really light line. That's the only thing I'm worried about. I have a net actually in the back of my car. You want to hold that real quick? Thanks, dude. Hope you don't feel like I took your spot. <laughs> Yeah, I can, I mean, I, I can leave. <laughs> I might have some. Yeah, right I for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's like a two pound test line, so. Yeah, I know, get it. There we go, oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> brother. I just seen one down there I just had on. Oh really? That's cool. In the creek or? Yeah, there's a couple of nice little ones in there. Nice. Yeah, I know they stocked some of the farmed brooks in here, but that's the biggest one I've seen. Well, I got plenty at home, but there's a pink one on my other rod. You can steal that one if you want it. Oh, I got plenty, man. I just not on me right now. So it's. Throw them back, keep them. I'm gonna. Well, if you want them, you can have them. I'll eat them. Okay. I just came to grab a fish. I got some duck. You want a duck? No, I'm okay. I appreciate it though. I'm mostly catch and release, so got it in the GoPro shot here. So nice, beautiful brook. Donate to a a local friend. Oh, nice. There you go, dude. <laughs> I don't know how good they are with them being stocked like that, but. All right, so that didn't just happen. It's probably pretty loud right here. Um, I think I learned that earlier. Got him. It's a gorgeous trout though. I don't even know if you can see him, but Hey, we landed him. All right. Uh, it's a nice uh, brood stock. More of a mature trout. It's a good one to end on. I feel. There he goes. Well, not bad. Um, we caught a couple here in the pond section, so 
that's three different sides of the pond and different hours of the day. You know, once starting at noon, a little bit in the mid afternoon. So, um, you know, to some degree, it doesn't matter what time you come. Obviously there's hotter times than others, but uh, Salem Pond is a happening place 24 seven. So come on down, have fun.